I think the people today, they, uh, it's something that they feel good about to identify themselves as the Blackfeet. This is our uh, identity and it goes way back. The Blackfeet were a very interesting people. Uh, we were explorers. We uh, traveled from the Saskatchewan River in Canada all the way down to Old Mexico. We traveled the backbone of the world, which we call the Rockies. I think it's important to share with our families and our children the values, our histories, because that helps them ground themselves in their identity. And that's going to be way more important than anything materialistic that they could pick up and have. My favorite thing is just being able to roam all over Blackfoot territory. Look at the landscape from a native perspective, thinking, okay, my ancestors were here. I'd like to see what the landscape has as far as stories and what it can tell us as people today. Our land base is something that we want to retain to keep because our land base is the backbone of our reservation. When I'm teaching and I talk about the traditional games and I take them out and I show them, it ignites in them the curiosity of, you know, how do I master this? You know, what do I need to do? I'd start going to the museum and I'd see these traditional games in the window. And what I did is that I start replicating these games. I make these uh, games out of the materials found along the rivers or lakes. They're made out of uh, willow, birch, buffalo bones, buckskin, sinew, paints. Handing down generation to generation that knowledge about our traditional games and what they mean and the stories behind them because that just helps everybody enjoy, you know, something that they can share with one another. Come to Blackfeet and visit us. Talk to our elders. We have a lot to offer. We have historical sites. Uh, we have museums. We have uh, senior citizens. They're always willing to talk to people and share. We have two different kinds of life. We have our traditional way, our Indian way of life, and then we enter into the life today, the modern way. But we're real fortunate that we have tribal leaders that envision for the people a positive future. Hard life is good, and it can be good. It's up to us. <laughs>